Hi, my name is Paul the DIY Guy, and welcome to my nerdcrafting vlog. This week I have the pleasure of introducing a brand new show coming out to Geek and Sundry on September 18th called Spell Slingers. It is going to be a Magic the Gathering centric show, and in order to get in the spirit of things, I decided that this week I would show you how to make a Magic the Gathering craft. So if you stay right there, I will show you how to make a Magic the Gathering Life Counter Abacus. Check it out. You are going to need some magic cards. Now I have an absolute ton of land cards to work with. These are great because there are so many of them and uh, I don't feel too bad cutting them up. I would highly recommend you use cards that are of the same set, otherwise you're going to end up with boxes that are potentially different sizes and ain't nobody got time for that. And we're just going to cut the bottom box out and then the top box out. Now these are the size of the big beads that I'm using, and I will want to cut enough cards to cover one of these beads, top to bottom. Now whatever size beads you pick will determine how many cards you need to cut. I ended up using about 20 cards, and yours of course will depend on the size of your beads. Regardless of how many cards you actually needed, make sure you have an odd number of cards, because we will be putting a full piece on the back. So make sure to put these into two even piles, making sure that one of them has a full card on the back. And now it's time to start gluing. It's messy, so make sure you have some paper towels handy. And what you should end up with is two equally sized pieces, one with a back, and one with nothing but holes. I happen to have some pieces of wood that I brought along just for this. Just needs to be flat. Then I'm going to take another piece to help squeeze all the rest of the junk out. Oh yeah. And then make sure that gets straightened out. I'll wipe off any extra glue. It gets squeezed out of there as best you can. I'm gonna let these sit overnight, but then they should be nice and dry. All going well, your two halves are now dry, and it's time to put on your beads for the actual abacus part of your abacus life counter. I looked all over the place for these things, and the only place I was able to find one, thank you Annie, was at the dollar store. Uh, these are some flower stems, and I think they're gonna work perfect for what I'm looking for. Uh, if you don't have these, you could probably use a paper clip as well. I'm gonna need to take a snipper, and you don't want to cut it the entire width, but almost all the way through. Try not to kill anybody nearby. So we cut two bars in order to uh, hold the beads, and you want to cut the bottom part of your deck, so that's the one with the solid back. Line them up where you want them to go. I'm just going to try and dig a couple of trenches for these, so just taking your X-Acto knife. just carefully start scraping some of the card pieces out. Cut two grooves on either side. Make sure to cut them deep enough so that the bars will fit flush with the top of the card. Two types of beads. I'm going to use some big beads for your ten counters. I'll put them onto your bar and I'm going to put five on to make this a 50 life counter. Some smaller beads so that I can fit ten in so that they look like so. I just realized that I hadn't actually put in my picture piece yet, so I'm gonna walk you through that before we put the top piece on, because it's a little bit easier to get at now. How you go about this is entirely up to you. You can simply cut out the piece picture that you want and put it in, and you're done. Uh, I'm gonna give, try and give this a little bit of a 3D effect. Now I've cut my two cards into three different pieces. I'm going to use this piece for the arm because it uh, will look like it's kind of in the background. The middle, I have the book, the main piece, and uh, everything but the arm. And then on top, I'm going to put the book with the front arm to give a little bit of depth to the front arm. So I'm just going to cut up a few squares out of this. And I'll use those for spacers so that it gives a little gap between each layer. So it looks 
kind of like that. And then, you just need to insert it into your deck. He fits in there nicely. Next, we're going to put the beads back on. Into place. Put some glue on the back of the top piece. And put that on the top of the back piece. I'm going to put some weight on the top to help that stay flat while it's drying and I'm gonna let that dry for a little while and that's all there is to it if you like this video make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more crafty goodness or any of the other vloggers here on the geek and sundry vlogs channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'd like to say a big thank you to Eddie from next move games here in Toronto for providing me with the magic cards I used in today's craft and I will catch you again in two weeks stay crafty my friend